Hey guys, it's Pablo Ray here, aka Cuban drug lord Pablo Ray. Um, yeah, I'm playing, sir. And, um, I haven't been recording lately, but I'm here right now to just talk to you guys, see how you guys' day have been, all this stuff. I wish I could do live sometimes, because that would be cool, but I'm not that big into it yet. I only get, like, I only have, like, 16 subscribers, but 30 views. Everybody subscribe to me. But, um, I actually want to talk about, I actually want to talk about, um, what happened to me today. Today, I, oh, by the way, I really want to be Robin this video, so hopefully I can become Robin. I think I'll just keep on playing until I become Robin. I've never played as Robin before, so I just want to do that. Okay. So, today, in this, and I'm really proud of this, but today, what happened was, um, I found this guy, and I saw him, oh, he just killed me, I saw this guy today, and... So, I saw this guy today, and he's a pretty, um, pretty old guy. He was at the YMCA, which is connected to my high school. And I'm a senior, so I get out early. And so, I was waiting for my dad to come pick me up, because I don't drive yet. Which is a long story on itself, and I'm not going to go into it, because it gets personal. But... I saw him and I just I just realized like what's the best thing to do and so I walked up to him and I said are you a vet and he looked at me and he was like what and, he was, and I was like are you a veteran and he was like oh yeah and he was a pretty nice guy but I didn't know, I didn't want to bring back any, like, PTSD or anything like that, and I hope I didn't, but our conversation was really short. He was like, yeah, I was in World War II, and I'm 82 years old, and I was like, wow, and I shook his hand, and I looked into his eyes, and I said the greatest thing that you can ever say to somebody, and that was, and I said... I appreciate what you did for this country and he said thank you I said it means a lot to me and just me being a Mexican American you know on the brink of having so many people racist to me and just saying all these things I have done something better than most of these little country guys that voting for Trump think that they've done this Batman's great this guy who's playing Batman is great he is playing a great bat, or that might have been Robin actually. Yeah, they're just they're doing really good. But all these country guys and all these people out there, they don't. They're not really country. Like they don't serve in the army. They want to build cars all day. But when they see a vet, they want to walk right past them. It's like, what type of person are you? Are you country or what? I kind of want to face the Joker. I'm always being... I'm sucking this thing. I don't know why. I'm not really paying attention. But it's just... It's really a great thing. When you can... Sit up here and you can be like... Oh. Yeah. You know? I said this, or this happened. La 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 da I mean... It really is something worthwhile. And there's really nothing else you can say about it. Hey, I got 
got him. And I was the match winner. I'm clutch. So, yeah, but you're never, and this is the complete honest truth about it. This is how I feel, and I would, like, full on for, like, days and months fight people about this view. You, the greatest thing you will ever do in your life, unless serving in the army, is walking up to a veteran that you don't know and telling them how much you appreciate what they have done for this country and you. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care what beliefs you're in. I don't care if you're atheist or anything. Or if you're that little annoying little emo girl that wanted to get attention on Facebook so she made a video about why people shouldn't be in the war. The war is the war, alright? It's protecting us, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. There should never be anything wrong with somebody protecting. You do that every day. You protect your kids from school. You do that all the time. You protect kids from certain people. You you do that every day in your life when you're an adult. So with the people that are sitting up here going, War should be bad, blah, 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 blah. Alright, yeah, war is bad. But would you let your daughter or son walk down the street of a really bad neighborhood where you know there's drugs, you know there's rapists, you know there's people out there that are sitting at that front door of their house waiting for somebody like a young little girl to pop up. No, you protect them. That's the exact same thing that us United States soldiers are doing. That are US soldiers, not me. But it's the same exact thing. So, why on earth would you dare say that we don't need to go to war when the people that are our biggest threats are the people that are across the ocean. And the people that say that now don't realize what's going on. And they'll never, they never will. Their kids will. And that's the funny thing about it. You, well, I'm, most of my, I know most of my viewers are teens. But to, to the teen viewers that argue that we shouldn't go to war, you guys should really reevaluate your life and your priorities and think about why am I always Bane? I've never, I think I've been Joker's game once, but I've always been Bane. But you should never, you should never downgrade our U.S. soldiers. That is the worst of the worst. I've never been on this map either. You shouldn't... Oh, wait. Maybe I have. Oh, yeah, I have. You should never downgrade a U.S. soldier. Whatever you do, don't ever downgrade a U.S. soldier. He was lagging like a motherfucker. He was lagging really bad. When you see a soldier, a U.S. vet, take the time out of your day, the one minute out of your day, to walk up to them, ask them if they're a vet, shake their hands, and ask them what war were they in. It doesn't matter if it's the Gulf War, World War II, Vietnam, it's still all the same. They fought to make sure that we were okay. And we deserve to get them respect. It goes nothing more into they killed random people. They they did all this, all of that. They literally protected you and protected me. They don't know our names. They never will. They literally protected you and they protected me. And if you don't think that, you are ungrateful in every way. And that's why... I believe that's why I believe that the best thing to do oh my god the best thing to do in your lifetime is better than every trophy every award you ever make walk up to a fucking veteran and tell them how much you appreciate what they did for us it's simple
It's as simple as that. And I didn't want to make a video bashing, you know, US, our team life and our citizens. Because, let's be honest, and I'm going to be frankly honest, I'm Pablo fucking El Rey. I will be honest every single goddamn day of my life. Our teens are pure shitty and pure retarded. Most of us. Most of us are. We, we live off of world star hip hop and off of all this stupid shit, vines and memes and whatever the fuck they're called in anime and we don't really look at life. We never do. We look at how this person lives life and we look at how that person lives life and then we make fun of them for it. And that's how teens are. But when you sit there and when you guys get old enough to be 18, <laughs> when you're 18 years young, and when you're old enough to actually have a brain and think cognitively, you realize how important life is in every way. And you realize how much a couple sentences make a difference in someone's life. Just a couple in anybody's life. You don't even have to know their name. Just a couple sentences can really make someone happy or sad. Like I said earlier, I one of my fears now, looking back on it, is I might have gave the guy PTSD because he told me about how he was in World War II and he had to kill a lot of people. But, and I would feel really bad about it, but if he goes home and he tells his wife or whoever that some young teen walked up to him and told him that he appreciated what he did, and he said that with a smile then I did my I did my job for the day. I've done what I have to do as a United States citizen. Being Mexican American, I did what I have to do. I didn't even get time to move. And so with that being said, there comes a moment in your lifetime where you have to know what's right and what's wrong. And the most important thing to know, the most important thing to ever do in life, is to shake a veteran's hands. And that is guaranteed the most important thing to ever do in life. There's nothing else that defeats that. If you think there is, then have a fun time sucking Hitler's dick in hell. That's my opinion on it, and that's what I completely think about it. And, like, my friends are probably like, oh, God, Pablo, you're getting a little too crazy about this. Well, I mean, it's honestly the truth. It's honest about it. I'm not trying to get offensive. Maybe I am, but I'm not trying to cuss at you guys or get angry about it. But it's just ridiculous that I have to make a video just about, like, common sense core things like shaking someone's hand. It's like, come on now, how, how often are you going to get the chance to walk up to a veteran and tell him thank you? One less to worry about. Boss made one of you a captain. Don't let the heroes get him or the mission is at risk. I have my thoughts asleep. But yeah, that did happen to me today. And it just like, I'm proud of myself, but then I do remember seeing videos of kids talking about how being a US citizen is bad. Being a US citizen is, or how being in the army is horrifying. You should be ashamed for being in the army. There's people all around that do it. I don't know if they do it on purpose or just to get intention, but it really is sad to see that because, like, 
the one most important thing that you will ever do in life is shake a veteran's hand and tell him that you appreciate him. That is absolutely the one thing. If there's a test question about that, put it down. Say Pablo El Rey said this because you guys really need to do it. It makes you feel so much better about yourself. And it's just the right thing to do. I'm standing up right now because my foot is asleep and it's painful. But it looks like my time has ended here. I have not played as Robin. I played as my fucking Cuban drug lord. Uh, second personality guy. I don't know. But, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.